More local counties are looking into illegal voting allegations. Quest to Investigates first brought you this story two weeks ago, and tonight we have learned at least eight counties, most of them in Central Florida, are reviewing evidence that convicted sex offenders allegedly committed election fraud. We get the latest now from West 2 News investigative reporter Greg Fox. Morris Drew lives in Poinciana. Elections office records indicate he's eligible to vote in Osceola County. His status is active, meaning he can vote next month and this November in Osceola County. And in the 2020 general election, he did vote. And this is Morris Drew, his photo on a Florida Department of Law Enforcement flyer. He's a registered sex offender, the online information detailing his crimes. And because of this, he's ineligible to vote under Florida law. We checked online with the Executive Office of Clemency under Drew's name and prison ID number. It confirms his civil rights have not been restored. By phone, he told me, I don't really remember registering to vote, but maybe when I got a driver's license. I don't remember voting. I don't really get involved in all that stuff. My wife handles all that stuff. There is probable cause to hold Drew is just the latest registered sex offender to be accused of illegal voting. Christopher Moy is charged with two counts of election fraud in Seminole County. So are James Tollison, Louis Rosario, and Solomon Webb. The charges are felonies that carry potential jail time. You can start seeing it came from the clerk of court's records. Mm -hmm. The Orange County Supervisor of Elections tells me he normally gets about 40 packets of information from the state each week, flagging people who may be ineligible to vote. But an email obtained by West 2 Investigates shows Cowles received records from this man, Mark Glazer, a data researcher whose face we're concealing at his request. He's been cross-checking voter and sex offender records and has so far alerted supervisors in at least eight counties about dozens of alleged illegal voters. So far, only the four in Seminole County have been charged. He identified two of our voters. Supervisor Cowles tells me he moved two registered sex offenders to the inactive list after confirming they both voted in the 2020 general and primary elections. So after we did our research, uh, we filed the elections uh, complaint to the Secretary of State Department of Elections, and then we also sent it to FDLE, and then we also sent it to the Ninth Circuit uh, State Attorney's Office. We reached out to the office of Circuit 9 State Attorney Monique Worrell to get a status update to find out any information on this investigation into alleged illegal voting. We'll let you know when we hear back. In Orange County, Greg Fox, West 2 News. Osceola County will be examining voter and sex offender records provided by Mark Glazer. The Secretary of State's officials tells us that they investigate, tells us its new election crimes unit will also be investigating. If you have a problem and no one else can help, contact the West 2 Investigates team. Questionable contracts, bad deals, or just straight up ripoffs. Let the West 2 Investigates team look into your troubles. If you are willing to tell us your story, just email those details to investigates at west.com.